Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hello, and hey, welcome to The Last Express, a game by Jordan, jo- jo- Jordan Mechner. Yeah, the guy who made Prince of Persia. Ah. Um, so Count listen, in. I have to say in the first minute, this episode is sponsored by, I guess... I guess this episode is sponsored by Ghost Hunters Adventure Club and the Express Train to Nowhere by esteemed author Dr. Cecil H.H. H. Mills. Um, Your uncle. Yeah. So, I... Everybody knows I don't like my uncle. He's written books, two of them, to be in fact... Well, he's written a lot more than two, but two are the ones that I've been involved with uh, against my will. Uh, this last one, I, I guess what happened was I fell asleep in a meeting... And somebody agreed to partner with my uncle on my behalf. And so I am contractually obligated to promote his book. So here I am it's, uh, promoting his book. Sounds fun. Ghost Hunters Adventure Club and the, and the Express Train to Nowhere. Uh, go check it out on uh, Audible or whatever. Aaron, have some respect for yourself. Like... Just because there's 271 pages of full tilt young adult mystery content doesn't mean that you have to sell out. <laughs> oh, you didn't even read the whole line. No, wait, the line. Yeah, <laughs> featuring the lovable exploits of JJ and Valentine Watts, their new friend Trudy De La Rosa, and their business entity, the Ghost Hunters Adventure Club. JJ Watts, the defensive player for the Pittsburgh Steelers? I'm assuming it's a character in the book. You're probably right. That's JJ Watt. I was thinking of someone else. Got it. Sorry. Uh, I don't know if he watches football. He probably does. He's got that kind of like manly streak. Who's he? Cecil? Yeah, Dr. Cecil H.H. Okay. H. Mills. We Man. should start the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is The Last Express. It's actually pretty good. I, I, I was asked to play a train game. And this is this is the train game that I know the best because I played this when I was younger. <laughs> oh my god, it's coming right at us! <laughs> this game's rotoscope, dude. Oh, look at that. Paris, July 24, 1914. Fabulous accent. Thank you. Aaron. This is France. This is Joch. This is rotoscoped? Yeah. Wow. Oh, I know what they're saying because I can speak French. Oui, oui. Aaron, please, for the love of God. Le train <laughs> is a fast. <laughs> Le train is French for the train. That's true. Is he getting back on or what? What is he getting off or? Not to be confused with Spanish, El Treno, <laughs> which is true. It's true. <laughs> hmm. Hmm? <laughs> oh. I don't like that guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, we're going! This is what I think of when I think of rotoscoping. Like this kind of weird motion movement. Yeah. Well, rotoscoping is just tracing over real photos. Right. I'm just saying, like, that character leading out of the train gives me Mr. Hatcher vibes, you know? It's just a different kind of feel. (laughs) (laughs) Wow, this game's so beautiful. Les slappers. (laughs) Les slappers. (laughs) We have to uh, uh, fuck uh, Mr. Hatcher. Monsieur Hatcher. There you go. This is dangerous. He's got to get on the train, dude. Wow. Uh, uh, almost there. Oh, hold on. The world is slowing down. I'll take Bye. The <laughs> hmm. He's here. Oh. Green sleeping car. Don't wake it. <laughs> You are Robert Cath, short for catheter. Mm. You've just boarded the Orient Express in answer to an urgent summons from your old friend Tyler Whitney. Now you need to find him. He's here, I guess. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna wake the sleeping car! You're on the train! <laughs> <laughs> Click anywhere on screen to move or act. Got it. Click the question mark to repeat. Game. Okay. Click the bubble at lower left for a hint. Okay. Click the icon of the level. Oh my level god, overlap. so many rules. Yeah. Nothing is here. It told me to click all these things, but there's nothing here. 
What is here, though? Aaron. Is a paper that said- I have to say- we're getting paid for all this. Alright, alright, alright. JJ, Valentine, and Trudy are on their way to the first inaugural Ghost Hunters Adventure Club Leadership Summit, wherein an old friend from the past shows up to ruin any- everything. This is, uh, about the book, by the way, not about this game. Okay. Uh, <laughs> separate those two in your mind. Uh, I imagine that the book is like, it's diegetic, right? Like, the book exists in this world, so it's like part of the... It's up to <laughs> our three young adventurers to solve the mystery of the express train to nowhere before they're locked away forever for a crime they didn't even commit. Are you trolling me right now? No, this- you have the paper too. I know. It's been described as a masterpiece of comedic fiction by fans of the series. I didn't even know the series had fans. I'm being honest <laughs> with you. Nice. All right, here we go. Here's a here's a room, I guess. We're going to see a room. Whoa, am I in the room now? Oh, um, 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 um. All right, take it easy. <laughs> Excuse me, monsieur. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> when you see a dialogue bubble, click on it. Ah, uh, bonjour. <laughs> excuse me. Can you tell me which compartment is Tyler Whitney's? Oh, Monsieur Whitney, excuse me. Your compartment is number one. Oh, okay. Now, let me read my porno! Ah, uh, monsieur, excuse me. These compartments belong to the gentleman in number four. Okay. Uh, oh, did you have to stand up to say that? Yeah, well... Excuse me, monsieur. I'm but standing this again. is the last sleeping car. If you are looking for the dining car, it is two cars forward. I thought I'd just take a walk to the end of the train. There is another car after this one, isn't there? Yes, but it is a private car. Je suis désolé, monsieur. <laughs> oh, because he said it in French. <laughs> yes, there is a car after this, but uh, I don't know, it's very horny! <laughs> Just such a weird, like, dynamic between the two of them. D the, especially the way you were talking, like... You know, I, I've been told... Someone likes it when I kiss their neck. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? <laughs> oh no, monsieur, I don't know anything about that! <laughs> oh, okay. Well, uh, bonjour. I hope we don't have any French fans. We do. We have plenty. Bonsoir, well, we had plenty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Monsieur. Excuse me. Monsieur. Which compartment is Tyler Whitney's? The American gentleman is in the first sleeping car. You look like someone who will murder him. Boy. I love this game, Find Your Room Simulator, <laughs> where you just wander up and down a train, getting yelled at by French engineers. I don't have a room, that's the point. <laughs> monsieur, stop knocking, please. <laughs> oh, 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 God, sorry. Oh, so sorry. Look, the arrow on his back is getting bigger. <laughs> Hate to see you go, but love to watch you. Who is it? Je sortie. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> I think I said I exit. <laughs> but love to watch you, I exit the scene. <laughs> hey. Where's where's Tyler? Where's Tyler Blevins? Ninja. <laughs> That's such a funny. Madam Kayo seems to have become a sort of national heroine. Oh. Somehow she's been transformed from I love heroin! ...woman enslaved and overshadowed by her husband into a passionate Avenger. One croissant and a baggot, please. <laughs> I'm blending in. Oh, they started speaking in French because I was standing around them. Oh, wow. She's a very opposite Oh, never mind. They just decided to say that in French for some reason. Must you always bring that up? Okay, shut up. Oh my god, there's so many people. Uh... Oh, look at that fucking guy! <laughs> oh, yes, he's stupid! <laughs> Aaron, please, what? what is this accent? It's French. <laughs> we have a nice table for I, you. I, this is unsettling. <laughs> <laughs> we have a nice table for you! Monsieur. Have a seat. Ah, the, oh, how Whitney? My name is Robert Kath, and I'm looking for Herr Whitney myself. I don't suppose you'd know where I might find him. I have had enough of this nonsense! <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> that was a good talk. Yeah. Nothing suspicious there. Guess oh. I'll get back to playing Fuck Monsieur Hatcher. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, I'm a handsome man, dude. Insurdigung. Insurdigung, dude. Yo, Insurdigung! Aaron, please. 
Bro, this fucking guy? Whoa, what happened? What's oh my god. Here? Ah, ah, stop! <laughs> I think I broke it. Excuse me. What's up? There Ask him the same question that <laughs> pissed him off in the restaurant car. Yeah. Why? Who are you knocking on? Pardon me. No, don't pardon me. Talk to me. Open the door. What the fuck? Child! <laughs> oh. Huh? Oh, was there a murder? Soon after leaving Paris, the train made an emergency stop and we saw the police carrying off a dead body. They arrested one of the passengers, an American without a ticket. The rest of us went on. What? What the? Good job, Aaron. You freaking lost. Uh, the book Ghost Hunters Adventure oh Club and the Express God. Train to Nowhere takes place on a train. Good job, Aaron. It's in my notes. Okay, thank you. Uh, the audiobook is narrated by Dr. Cecil H. H. Mills and no one else. Alright, got it. Why does it keep ticking? I don't know, maybe it'll explode. Excuse me, well, can you tell me which compartment- Excuse me, I somehow room? lost the first time? <laughs> is in the first sleeping car. The first sleeping car? Okay. You wanna to go to the first sleeping car. I don't know which one's the first sleeping car. This is the green sleeping car. Bonsoir, monsieur. Uh, uh, hello. Okay, I guess I'll just go, 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 go. Oh, wait, I, f I followed him over here. Yes. Be the first Sorry. one. Sorry. Oh, God! It just scared the shit out of me. This must be the first sleeping car. Monsieur, this is not your compartment. Oh, oh. shit. Want the other sleeping car. The upper sleeping car. Upper? Or do you say other? Uh, well, either way, it's this not, not this one. Okay, uh, I will keep going then. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice, monsieur. Oh god, I have to fucking talk to this guy again. I think you should go through this car, yeah. right? Bonsoir, monsieur. We have a nice table for you here in the corner. Thank you, thank you, thank God. you. His real eyes and teeth remind me so much of like Yuri from Doki Doki Literature Club. Please, Monsieur. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk to him. I don't want to talk to him. I don't want to talk to him. Excusez moi, Monsieur. I don't want to talk to him. It happened. So where the fuck is he? There you go, red sleeping car. But this is where I just was. No, you were in the green sleeping car. No, I wasn't. Look, he's gonna say the same shit. Excuse me, Monsieur. That is Count Bolanski's compartment. Oh, okay. Yours is in the next sleeping car. Okay, 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 got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. Bonsoir, bonsoir. Oh shit, no, don't bonsoir! Why does it make me run like that? Aaron, don't the, the do that. doors are numbered. That one's five. And... Right here. Thank you. Yeah, boy! Ah! Excuse me, I'm looking for the first <laughs> sleeping car. <laughs> Sir? The book and audiobook of Aaron. Ghost Hunters Adventure Club and the Express Train to Nowhere contain a new hit song, Siobhan's Waltz for Revenge. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay. The book contains sheet music for the song so you can play it yourself, while the audiobook contains a fully produced version Featuring Virginia punk band Diet Sig. I feel like you're fucking with me right now. This is our this is our brand deal. You got the paper. I got the paper. Our management gave it to us. <laughs> our management? Yeah. Our our agent. Um Dude. oh it has it has some do's. You know, like do's and do nots mm -hmm. on here. Uh, do remind the viewers of D Dr. Cecil's significant gambling debts and how he really needs a win with this one, specifically in this current financial quarter. Okay. So we did that already. Good job. Um, do connect emotionally with the material. Like the book? Aaron. I emotionally hate it. Can we get back to the game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, dead guy. I loved him. <laughs> mm. Mm. Your hands are full carrying a body. Put it down if you need to use your hands. I don't. I'm- I'm bringing this everywhere. Why is the ghost of him, like, swinging around? Because, Aaron, he's deceased. Do I, like, put him down? Oh, do I throw him out the window? What? No! Why would I- You're why? trying to solve a murder! But, 
Was am I supposed to hide him? I don't know. I Maybe forgot. There's a trunk right there. Uh oh, a trunk. Oh, put him in a trunk. That's so smart. Hi, Ethan. Ethan's outside the window. Sweet. Uh, this will make a great cushion. Uh, just and relax. Pick, pick him up again. Let's pick him up. Let's put him back down. <sighs> All right, there he is. Should I like get attention or? Oh, there's a hint. I can get a hint. Police are after me. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. If Tyler's yeah. found dead. They'll think I did it. I need to find a place. Okay, that's what there I thought. Yeah. Okay, let me pick him up again. Mm, up we go. <laughs> Upsy dupsy. Uh, there you go. In the crate? It's gotta be. I can't open it. Oh my god. I should just throw him out the window, dude. That's the shit. <laughs> Alright. Go for it, Aaron. I can't do it, though. Throw him me. out the window. Don't let me. I can't do anything in this fucking room. This is making Other me hand. feel crazy. Or I could just throw his body out the window. That's what I thought! <laughs> Fucking, how do I do it though? Down, what do you mean I have to put him down? <laughs> I already put him down! Someone <sighs> put him down permanently. <laughs> I like how I, like, I, I fix his head every time. I'm like, well, at least he should be comfortable. Oh, there you go. Alright, throw him up. Are you the good guy? No, I'm a <laughs> real bad guy, dude. See ya. Hold this. <laughs> Whoops. Are you okay? <laughs> He'll be fine. Oh, man. Might as well throw that jacket out, too. Oh, this one? No, the one that's bloody. Oh, I'll just wear his. Okay. Monsieur Tyler? Um, yes? <laughs> We oui, we. Oui. This is making me feel insane. Do you know the YouTube video Obama Soda? Nope. It's six seconds long. It's Trump going Obama, and then cuts to Joe Biden going Soda, <laughs> <laughs> and everyone cheers. Yes. And I watch it eight hundred times a day. Wow. Well. Smith is waiting for you in the restaurant car. Shall I bring him a message? Uh. I'll be right there. Very good, Monsieur. Is that the message you want me to bring him? <laughs> yes? Well, you won't need to tell him that because you're right behind him. He's dead as fuck. Yo, 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 I can't stop. All right, let's talk to this fucking guy. Okay. Ah, Whitney. You are different than I had imagined. Sorry to keep you waiting. I ran across an old friend. <laughs> Most unexpected encounters on trains. Must have lost my head, huh? Have you brought the gold? Yes. First you kept me waiting, now you don't answer me. I have kept my half of the bargain. If something has gone wrong, I would like to know it. Nothing has gone wrong. I'm glad. <laughs> I trust Nobody's not been mind murdered. <laughs> if I asked to see the gold. I trust you won't mind either if I ask to see what I'm buying. To see it? But you know that is impossible. The merchandise will be put on the train at Munich. It is what we agreed. Good. Then we're even. Herr Schmidt, it's been a pleasure. We'll talk again after Munich. Oh! Oh! <laughs> you! <laughs> you are not allowed to see the goods. I've got 40 kisses here that say differently. <laughs> well, who's this guy? Excuse uh, me. Pardon me. The, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Forty whole kisses? <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me. We oui, monsieur. <laughs> yeah. it's Hi. Like a fucking aha music video. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> I'm David. I'm into steampunk. Excuse me. Oh, stop! Stop! Why does he do this? Why does he do this? Monsieur, please. The gentleman in number four. He would be very upset. I don't care. I wonder if any other passengers besides Schmidt are involved in Tyler's scream. It might be expected to get to know who's who. Okay. Oh, uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. What me? the fuck was that? A was, merchant? Yeah. Or uh, one of those things from Harry Potter. <laughs> the Death Eater? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, uh, Tyler? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll check the next car, thanks. What the fuck? Stop it! Stop going so fast! Oh, man. 
Alright. I just want to talk to this guy. Before I do, though, oh. you can visit ghosthuntersadventureclub.com to find out more and purchase a copy or multiple copies for yourself. That's what it says. Okay. Uh, also, my name is Aaron, and I'm a big dumb idiot. Hey! Oh, nice. What All right. The did fuck? They, write that in? they did write that in. They did write that into the copy. That's nice. That's that's fucked up. Share your personal experience with Ghost Hunters Adventure Club and the Express Train to Nowhere. How did the book make you feel? Bad. What were your favorite parts and most beloved characters? I don't know. Please knock on the door, Aaron. Oh, I already did. There's nobody in there. But, but what about the guy with the little shiner hat? The little fez hat? Nope. He's getting away. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting away in his bunk. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh, where, where, whoa, oh, whoa. He's a slippery one. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop barreling into this guy. I would be trouble. I didn't mean I to be responsible. Ah, uh, monsieur, excuse me. This compartment belonged to the gentleman in number four. I don't care. Stop talking, everybody. Monsieur. Monsieur, stop. Monsieur. <laughs> monsieur, please. There will be trouble. I cannot be responsible. Monsieur, monsieur. Ah, uh, monsieur, excuse me. Are you just knocking on every door? Yeah, I want to get yelled at by the same dude over and over. Well, if there's anybody to talk to, they're gonna be in their bunks. Oh my god. There's the th there's like one third space in this whole fucking train. Please hit a hint. It just says to talk to people. Okay. The sleeping cars, restaurant, smoking car are good places to run into people. The restaurant is good. You can at least see people there. I'm gonna go. Oh 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 oh. There's. Uh, hey hey, what's up? Hey what's up? Hey, hello? Don't bother, that's Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello! Talk to me. Sup? Is there a- is there a tiger in here? Bonsoir, monsieur. Can I fucking talk to these people, please? Bonsoir. Uh, uh, uh... Okay, great. Here's my ticket. Hey, I've come across something. Except it's Eugene, I had to embalm- What the fuck? Wait, hold on, what are you- My what praying the hell are you mantis, he died. <laughs> Oh, that guy died! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Who's saying Francois? Probably the mom. Oh, God. Oh, I can't look in there. Fuck! Alright, I'll just go to the dang restaurant car. My scare- oh, man. You're missing out on some great conversations. I don't care, man. I don't know anything about anybody. Can I talk to these freaks?! Let me talk to them! Tell me about yourself. Well, I've been dead for 80 years. <laughs> <laughs> Click on continue to continue your journey. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, 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 thank you. Talk to me. Doesn't she look like she's on a Tinder date with a ghost? <laughs> <laughs> That's what that looks like to me. Hello? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pee all over everything. Excuse me. <laughs> anyway, may I, is the seat taken? Hello? Oh, that's her grandfather. No, all right. Yeah. But I do remember you. It was at Mrs. Lauder's in London, Hello? wasn't it? Yes. Hello? You played Brahms' violin concerto. Okay, fuck You him. was a bishop in my chess you pieces. You were with an English woman. Was she your wife? Um, uh, um, yes, um, that is, uh, ah! I'm back. Miss Wolf. Me, I present my colleague, Her, my wife, Mr. <laughs> Tyler That's Whitney. That's me. Herr Whitney, Miss Anna Wolf. I, I'm sorry, I didn't catch the name. Tyler Whitney. He Have just you, said it. You can remember me by my incredibly off-putting stare. Whitney years ago in New York. You were trying to raise money to start a revolution in Cuba, isn't that right? No! <laughs> <laughs> no, that was another guy. You were trying to stir up. <laughs> Herr Whitney is well known as a champion of freedom and justice in countries other than his own. But please, don't let us interrupt your dinner. Not at all. You're both very. Like he starts to find out how terrible well, of a person the so guy he's boring. playing is. It's like, oh, you were you were responsible for the mass genocide of millions. What? No, uh, uh, not me. <laughs> brilliant performer. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what did she say? Uh. <laughs> Until Munich, sir. And what will we find in Munich? I'm gonna light that paper on fire. I was asked not to mention Cerberus on High or Dr. Cecil's ongoing legal battle with former publishing house Bradford and Bradford. Bradford and Bradford, sorry. <laughs> um, we're gonna beat this thing. Was also added. Thanks, Aaron. Emphasis on we. Cool. 
Um, this episode has a really great flow to it. Thank you. It says, do not discuss the IRS or tax fraud in any way, shape, or form. Good. Good job. We can just cut that out. <laughs> Discredit doctors, do not discredit Dr. Cecil H.H. H. Mills' combat experience or martial arts proficiency. So don't talk any trash about how he can't fight anybody. You got it, Aaron! Yeah. Um, do not spoil the exciting plot twists on page 161 and the exhilarating <gasps> ending. Aaron, steampunk guy just sat down. Oh! Oh, I wanna talk to him! Chat with his mullet. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me! Why can't I turn? What is wrong with this game? Fuck! Uh, people, people, hello? Can I speak to you? Speak! Speak! Child just looked at me for a second. <laughs> Don't mind us. We'll just sidle to the side here. Man, I want to talk to people, but they won't let me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, smoke your cigarette! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me! Fuck! <laughs> Why does anyone want to talk to me? Thank you for playing Ignoring Simulator. Ooh, I'm in a room. Uh... Uh... <laughs> miss? Should I, like, sit down and wait for somebody? Where am I right now? I don't know. I'm in the bathroom, I guess. Whoops. Uh... Feels like one of the bathrooms in Japan we went to where, like, you could barely move or breathe. Yeah. You just spin in a circle and hope that you're being in the right direction. <laughs> Usually like a like a hole in the floor to pee in. Mm. What are you doing, man? You're going into every room. Was this uh the bad room? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <gasps> a clue! A clue. Damn it! It's not a clue. I can't fucking interact with anybody, dude. This is like this is like reading a book. No, Aaron, please. It also says, do not discuss the implications of the ending uh, for the future of the Ghost Hunters Adventure Club series and its lovable cast of characters. Well, I wouldn't even know what that is anyway. Okay, cool. Uh, also says, do not mention the solution to the puzzle on page Aaron, 10. Aaron, stop! It's an at-bash cipher. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't... I wasn't supposed to do that. Okay. I think that's everything. Cool. In this game? No, 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 there's a lot of this game. Okay, cool. Just in the paper that I was given. Perfect. About Ghost Hunters Adventure Club and the... Express Train to Nowhere? Is that what it's called? <laughs> That's what it feels like we're playing. I can't talk to anybody. Dog, shut up! Dog! I think that dog will shut up later. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Aaron. Excusez-moi, uh. Monsieur Whitney, excusez-moi. His Excellency wishes to receive you in his private <gasps> car. Oh, he's gonna excellent. receive me. Yes, Monsieur. He's waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, which car did he say? Uh, the last one. The one he wasn't allowed me to go into. Okay. Who's His Excellency? Whoa, Kronos. Hello. It seems I've been sent for by someone named His Excellency. The God of War. Wouldn't be you, would <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> um, he's right behind me, isn't he? <laughs> uh, that just happened. <laughs> <laughs> what? Unexpected pleasure, Mr. Robert Cat. Usually people call me Tyler Whitney. You should take care when choosing a name for yourself. Names have power. The most primitive cultures understood this. You're telling me I just killed a guy. <laughs> Not everyone has the luxury of choosing his own name, Mr. Kronos. <laughs> Farties. <Whether you> are <laughs> Kath or Minky <laughs> Farties. <laughs> I am prepared to continue the discussion. Did a little farty. <laughs> provided that you have the piece of which you spoke. Is Kronos your first name or your last name? I have no time to continue the Tell you my name. <laughs> discussions of names. I have brought with me a rather heavy briefcase. I would like to know now if the proposed exchange interests you and if you are capable of completing it. Not just at the moment, but I have hopes- <laughs> With these giant hands? <laughs> In that case, we have nothing further to discuss. I myself must leave the train in Vienna. In case we do not see each other again, I wish you a pleasant journey to Istanbul and continued success in evading the British and French authorities. Have a pleasant evening, Mr. Cat. <laughs> Have a Disney Can day. I show you out. <laughs> <laughs>
Whoa. What is this Mickey Mouse operation? Where did he go? I wonder if any passengers be- I- the fuck- okay! Uh, uh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me! Hey! I was just going to make the beds for the night, monsieur. Pardon me? Fuck! Why won't let me talk to this guy? I, I'm very sorry, monsieur. I do Here, take a, uh... Have some matches. Have some matches. Light them on fire. Shit. Shit. I can't understand you. And that tiny hat has me so hot I can't think straight. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Oh, hello. Wait, 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 wait. No, uh, your boss likes me. Pardon me. What the fuck? Talk to me. Stop looking at me weird. Yes, monsieur. Oh, monsieur. Have a pleasant night, monsieur. I see you have many fezes. <laughs> May I have one, monsieur? <laughs> no. Me and Hannah. Whoop. Here we go. Mom and Makta. Uh, sorry. Wrong door. <laughs> you better not have unlocked my bio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought he was. <laughs> Uh. Yeah. What? Oh, it's that guy. I don't like him. Yeah. Conductor, to make up your bed for the night, Monsieur. Ein Moment, bitte. Coming in. Coming in. Coming in. Shit. Oh, hello. Huh. Oh. It's that guy. That wasn't you talking. Fuck. <laughs> Why don't I just? Tell people I'm the conductor. Oh, uh, oh, this is this is the murder oh, car. Uh, 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 I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. <laughs> Whoops! This is the car I murdered a guy in. <laughs> Pardon me. Pardon what's up? Me. Hey, what's up? Pardon me. Oh God! Why does everyone ignore me? Because you're annoying and weird. I'm not annoying. That is not your compartment. Oh, the my compartment. <laughs> I'll show you whose compartment is mine. Oh my god. Quiet. Sorry. I can't keep these doors straight. <laughs> I can't think straight with all the people I've killed today. <laughs> can't think straight with all these fezzes just driving me crazy. <laughs> Dog? Let's see who else is in here. Le train entre en gare d'Epernay. Epernay, 5 minutes d'arrêt. Does anyone know what he's saying? <laughs> Hello, oh, okay. Hello. Got some spooky music going. <gasps> ah. Clothes. I knew it. <laughs> so it seems the murderer wears clothes. <laughs> Somebody Write here. that down in my notebook. Let me in. Excuse me, monsieur. That is Madame Boutarel's compartment. I know. <laughs> excuse me, monsieur. Okay, excuse, excuse me, monsieur. Monsieur. Compartment. Uh, uh, please. <laughs> whoa, 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 stop going so fast. Excuse me, monsieur. You have to be able to talk to one of these people. I have to, right? Don't tell my heart, my achy blicky heart. <laughs> I just don't it's think you would let, let understand. Um, After I guess I'll sit. There's too many people talking. Yeah, actually, that's a huge cause of anxiety for me when multiple conversations are going on at once. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the worst. Who Theseus? Josephine sera le Minotaur. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> <laughs> like you're sitting there with, <laughs> with, <laughs> with your uh, English to French dictionary and you're like, Josephine could be the Minotaur. That can't be right. She's <laughs> 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 like staring at them, like leaning in further. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, it's student me a lie, dude. See ya. Uh, pardon me. Whoa, oh, sorry. Should I go in here? No, don't go. Don't go. Wait, don't go. I need to talk to you. Why can't I talk to anybody? Miss, may I have a swab of your DNA, please? <laughs> <laughs> Just one. 
Oh, he got up. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Now that you're standing. Oh. Excuse me. Excuse me. Grab his stuff off the table. Oh, yeah. Nope. How the hell are you supposed to play this game? Wait, look at that poster one more time. The- with- of the nudeman? Whoops. Go in here, go in here, go in the- not this one. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Oh, excusez-moi. This one? Yeah. Luft sh fart <laughs> Ostalung. <laughs> Alright, I think we can- <laughs> I think we can probably call this an Oh episode. my god, what is happening? I don't know, I forgot it. Like, this is the this is among our least successful Gameplays ever. <laughs> well, it doesn't let me do anything. <laughs> it's, it's literally the hints say go talk to somebody. The sleepy cars, restaurants, the smoky car are good places to run into people. I did that, and nobody wants to talk. Just let. Me oh, I don't think we can show that. Uh, I can see her chronos. <laughs> <laughs> monsieur. Well, monsieur. Should I talk to you or? Is that how they- okay, bye. Oh my god! Wait, wait, oh, hold on, there's- hold on. No, don't, don't. No, I, please. Have, to, I have to end. This I, episode was sponsored by Ghost Hunters Adventure Club and the Express Train to Nowhere. <sighs> out, available now. GhostHuntersAdventureClub.com That's my it. My freaking brain. I've- I've- I've watched my nephews play with trains and learned more than I learned from this train game. I've learned that people are not nice, and they don't want to chat, and, um... You didn't know that before? I don't usually talk to people. <laughs> I live in LA, I haven't seen a human being in <laughs> 14 days. Somebody comes up to me and wants to talk, I don't talk to them. It goes apartment, car, apartment. <laughs> and that is it. <laughs> I don't go anywhere, I just go back to my apartment. <laughs> I just drive around for a while. <laughs> Alright, bye. Shop at Trader Joe's, everybody. <laughs>